Andrew with Walters. Today it is the beginning of July. Um, we are looking at Shasta daisies or Leucanthemum superbum, uh, whichever you prefer to call them. Shasta daisies is a little bit less of a mouthful. This is one of the most popular perennials that is currently being uh, grown in North America. You can find it in just about every garden center. Great value uh, for the plant that you're getting, very long live, easy to divide and get more. Great for cut flowers, great for rebloom. One of the very kind of traditional uh, plants that you would find in your cottage garden. So over time, the uh, varieties have come down quite a bit in size. Mostly I would say they were quite a bit taller, a little bit rangier, um, prone to opening up. So a lot of newer varieties are coming onto the market aimed at condensing that habit, strengthening the stem, improving the number of breaks so you get more flowers per plant without having to deadhead so much. Uh, free flowering characteristics have been introduced, which basically means they don't need a cold period or a chilling period in order to produce more flowers, which means that they bloom longer with less effort. So that, right there, that's a lot of value uh, in one little plant. I'm standing next to uh, Leucanthemum Banana Cream 2. This is the successor to Banana Cream, which was one of the original of the Proven Winners perennials. This is in the Amazing Daisies collection from Proven Winners. So Banana Cream 2 uh, makes improvements on Banana Cream. It has a very nice, long-lasting yellow flower color. Uh, it is one of the earliest Shasta daisies as well to bloom. So here you can see some of that yellow color has started to fade. The flower buds are the most yellow part of the plant and then as they open, that color tends to age and then they turn a little bit more of a cream color. When the buds are first opening, they will be a pretty significant banana yellow. So that is banana cream too. Next up, we have Daisy May. This is also a amazing daisy from Proven Winners. This is one of the original Proven Winners perennials. Comes from Brent Horvath at Intrinsic Gardens and is still to this day one of the absolute best Shasta daisies that we've had in our garden for free flowering and for rebloom. It will not have the biggest flowers, but it might have the most flowers of any Shasta daisy that you can get. Deadheading will keep this thing going um, from when it starts in June until when frost hits and then finally it goes dormant for the winter. So that is Amazing Daisies, Daisy May. Here we have another member of the Amazing Daisies collection. Uh, this one is Spun Silk. So this one has some of the largest flowers that we have ever seen on a Shasta daisy. Uh, particularly when they're greenhouse grown, you can see these things getting five inches wide. Uh, the real nice trait of this plant, uh, Spun Silk, we call the spider type, which means that the, each individual petal is exceptionally long proportionate to the width. So the blooms on this plant have a little bit extra as well. Uh, the ends of the petals are feathered, so in addition to being quite long and large, they also have a bit of extra texture compared to the typical more flat um, Shasta daisy bloom that people are familiar with. This is also the largest Shasta daisy in the Proven Winners Perennial Program, um, getting two and a half feet tall. So that again is Leucanthemum spun silk. This is Amazing Daisy's Marshmallow. We introduced this one last year, so it's new to the market this year in 2022. It's in the Proven Winners program. It's the first fully double leucanthemum that we've brought to the market. Um, very reliable in production we have found. Excellent flower form, nice big flower clusters, good coverage overall, nice compact rounded habit. One of the things that we absolutely love about it is the sheer number of petals that it has. The newer petals are all bigger and longer and they bury the old. So that helps you get a little bit extra time, a little bit extra enjoyment out of each flower before it goes and you have to start deadheading it. So that is Amazing Daisy's Marshmallow. So here we have Leucanthemum Becky. This is a former Perennial Plant of the Year Award winner. Uh, I can stand next to this one, as you can see, quite a bit taller. Flowers face up, not as much rounding or doming of the habits, but you do get a lot of nice height that you don't necessarily get with some of the other varieties. It has a clear white flower, uh, nice coverage of petals, great size in the landscape, very upright shape, definitely one if you're looking for something that's got some of that more traditional height or size, Becky, one that you want to consider. So here is uh, Leucanthemum 7th Heaven. 
So this is our newest variety that we are introducing. This one is coming to market in 2023. You may be able to find it some places this year already, um, but it will be more widely available next year. It has uh, gorgeous, nice big flowers, creamy yellow flower buds open to those nice wide flowers. Uh, this one is a little bit later to bloom than Banana Cream 2, so that's one significant difference there. This one also has a pretty good amount of body to it. Banana Cream 2, a little bit more refined. So if you want something that's really going to fill in your landscape, 7th Heaven might be the one to look for next year. Last and what might be the least is Leucanthemum Cream Puff. This is one of the shortest Leucanthemum that we have in our catalog. Uh, this was just planted this past year, so another year might be a little bit taller. Don't count on it being this short every year. Nice clean white flowers, has a nice lemon yellow flower bud that opens up into that clean look. This one free flowering so you'll get a lot of plants every year. Nice rounded full coverage. If you're looking for something for the front of the border this might be the plant for you. So again that is the Cantamum Cream Puff and thanks for watching. You can follow us on YouTube if you want to see more videos or check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok.